video claiming that she knows me, myself, and Ethan, and all these different types of, she just came up with a bunch of BS, and we're just going to talk about it. Okay, I don't like getting in drama. I don't get in drama. I don't like getting in drama. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? If I see something that I don't like, something that's not true, a fabricated statement, I'm going to speak up on it, especially if I know the people personally. Well, I understand that she wants to speak up, but she also said that she doesn't like to get into any drama, so I know why she would go through all that trouble to start drama with Say and Ethan. In this video, I understand a lot of people look up to her. She's a TikToker. Her transitions are pretty cool. They really cool, actually. I have nothing negative to say about her. I just want to address the situation. So, um, one, you said these people are claiming one. Actually, I'll just talk about this after the video. A month ago, they texted me since I've known them for two or three years now. They live a good 20, 30 minutes away from me. I've never met them personally, but we've been social media friends for that minute. If you never met me personally, how do you know I live a good 20, 30 minutes away? You don't know where I live, Regan, but okay. James commented on one of my videos and they saw it, so they FaceTimed me. Keep in mind, the only time they've ever reached out to me is whenever I hit a success or I've hit another milestone, which is also really funny. But First of all, that is Cap. I will be inserting receipts out after all of this is over, but before you even blew up on TikTok, before you were even famous, I met you at the mall and I was filming a YouTube video, filming a public video with random people there. You had came up to me, you were like, with two random guys, don't know who they were, but you came up to me, you're like, ooh, you're a YouTuber, I make YouTube videos too. At the time, you only had one YouTube video up and it was asking boys if I'm cute or something like that, a monkey, something, it was a monkey video on YouTube. So you had 10K subscribers. I don't remember how many I had, but you asked me to collab and I was like, sure. Yeah, something very fishy. Something's very fishy with this Reagan girl. And, you know, if she really knew them very well, why would she, presumably, lie about their age? Why would she presumably do that? That's just odd to me, really. Like, sure. At the time, you seemed pretty cool. You were a chill girl. And we just never, never fell through with that. It's all that James commented on one of my videos. It was a transition video and he gave me a compliment. Obviously, I'm a big. How are you going to claim what I, I saw? One, I deleted my old TikToks. The app was toxic. I stopped watching TikToks. I was not on your TikTok. I have never, I've watched like four or five or six of your TikToks out of like who knows how many you have. So how are you going to tell me they watch? How are you going to claim what they did when you weren't? It's just not adding up, but okay, we'll keep, keep going. Also, it's freaking out. This is part one. Part two is going to be posted after this. So Ethan and Zay snap call me. I answered the call, and they were like, hey, we saw that James commented on your video. Like, that's super cool. And I was just freaking out. And I was like, oh, my gosh, yes, he did. And then Ethan was like, well, I actually talked to James. I mean, come on, doesn't doesn't everyone else talk to James? I mean, it's not that they were just doing it right in your face for clownering thing. Right? It's not like that. 